We're learning that President Obama is expected to announce a payroll tax cut plan in hopes of spurring job growth. But one liberal group is slamming that proposal already, calling it a serious threat to the future of Social Security. Nancy Altman is the co-director of that group, Social Security Works. Nancy, thank you so much for being here. So this is for folks who haven't been following it as closely as you have. It, there's the payroll, the payroll tax, and we all pay it out of our paycheck, and it goes to uh, fund Social Security. And the president has already given us a, a break on that, given individual workers a break on that. And he, he reportedly wants to extend that. But now you are taking issue with what he may propose along those lines tonight. Why? What specifically do you expect and what, what are you upset about? We are all for stimulating the economy and job creation through direct spending or through tax cuts. But the payments that go, as you say, the contributions to Social Security are insurance premiums, buying disability insurance, life insurance, and old age annuities. And we don't want to see the, the um, funding of Social Security weakened. There are better ways to stimulate the economy. Because we don't, you know, I mean, Social Security, everybody on both sides of the aisle realizes that we're headed for bankruptcy on that, on Social Security, and we need, we need the dough. That, that, well, it is not headed for bankruptcy. It's the most fiscally responsible program, but it is true that after 2036, if no change is made, it can only pay 75 cents on the dollar, and we want to make sure it can pay in 25 years 100% on the dollar. The way to get there is certainly not to reduce its funding. Well, and, and so what do you make of that, though? Because this is an interesting partisan issue, because it's the president, who's a Democrat, pushing for an extended tax break, and already we're having some Republicans come out and say, that's one tax break we don't like, which is, you know, normally you see them reversed, and uh, you're a Democrat, and you're, you're sort of with the Republicans on this. <laughs> it is a fascinating play. Actually, I've worked for Alan Greenspan and Jack Danforth from Missouri, but I am a registered Democrat. The, it's an interesting play. I, my loyalty is to the program. And Social Security works. It, this has often been an I, idea of people who wanted to undercut the program. So it is, is uh, alarming to us that it is coming from the Democrats and from the president. What, uh, let me ask you, because you, you, this is something that you devote your life to, uh, Social Security, and, and know a lot more about it than I'm sure I do or a lot of our viewers do. I want to talk to you about what Rick Perry said at the debate last night um, about how he thinks this thing has been set up and, and his somewhat infamous remark now that it's a Ponzi scheme. Watch what happened last night. It is a monstrous lie. It is a Ponzi scheme to tell our kids that are 25 or 30 years old today, you're paying into a program that's going to be there. Anybody that's for the status quo with Social Security today is involved with a monstrous lie to our kids, and it's not right. What do you think of that, Nancy? That is an outrageous statement. He is calling a program enacted by Congress, signed into law by the president over 76 years ago, an illegal criminal activity. It is no more a Ponzi scheme than children, adult children taking care of their parents is a Ponzi scheme. It is a valued uh, way of providing life insurance, disability insurance, and old age annuities. And one more point people don't seem often realize, it is the nation's largest children's program. We talk about it, um, this is a program where but one it doesn't, out of But three you're arguing the merits of it, which I think, you know, a lot of people, well, people may disagree, but the, that he didn't seem to be talking about the merits of taking care of our elderly population. He seemed to be saying that it's been set up in a way that is not sustainable. And, and the people he's, who feel... He's wrong. Well, let, let me just finish my point, and then, sure. then I'll give you the floor. Sure, but the, sure. the people who feel that way say that the, for the people retiring today, the present value of taxes will be on average more than the present value of benefits. In other words, they will, a large section of the population over the next decades will have paid into the system much more than they're going to get back, and that comes from the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office. Go ahead. It, it's not right that they're going to get less than they're paid in. It is a current-funded pension That's plan. That's what the CBO says. It is a current-funded pension plan with disability insurance and life insurance. If you only look at the retirement income portion, that's one thing. But every worker today is insured. As soon as you start working and start paying into the system, you're insured against the, uh, dis a devastating disability. Your family is insured in case you have um, a premature death. And you are getting benefits, accruing benefits for your family and yourself if you have the good fortune to live to old age. It's a, it's a very, very um, well-crafted, efficient system 
pays returns and benefits more than 99 cents of every dollar collected. It's a great deal, and it's why the American people support it so widely. Okay. Accor I mean, according to the CBO, they say people born in the 40s are only going to get 90% of what they put into it, 84% for those born in the 50s, those born in the 2000s, 82%, and so on down the line, which is why they say we pay into it more than we get back. Uh, I guess they're going to need to fix it one way or another. Nancy, I, th I thank you for coming on and giving us your perspective. Thank you so much for having me. All the best. Well, new details on an accident sending an Oscar award-winning actress to the hospital. We'll show you what's going on today with Reese Witherspoon. Plus, this Iron Man is no doubt an elite actor.